Okay, I'm observing the star 30 uh, low minoris, which forms an uh, asterism similar to a cart with several stars around it. The magnitude 3.25 and uh, and there's a tiny star to the I mean in the refractor to the right of it which is magnitude 8 and that's very quite faint for this sky watcher 80 star travel 80 f5 what I've noticed is that I have a lineup of uh, uh, 18 millimeter uh, eyepieces. This is a Takashi LE 18 millimeter. I have here a Star Guider ED 18 millimeter. I have the Bader Classic Ortho 18 millimeter, and this is Orion Expanse 20 millimeter, 66 degrees. Of course, these are not 80. This one is 30 millimeter Celestron Ultima series for the multiplicator. And I have here also a Teleview 40 millimeter plus. So, uh, in all of these 18 millimeter ones, uh, that is 20 millimeter. I uh, notice Takahashi and uh, the classic Ortho are the best. This Star Guider, although is good. But uh, around 40% to the edge of the field stop, you can actually see astigmatism. Uh, this is not bad as this, but again, not very good. Classic order to the edge is quite uh, without any distortion. Image is good. But Takahashi LE is as good as ortho but I relief is better and I can see that 8 magnitude star all the time with this is quite bright actually with this when you look at it um, so I have a line up here and you can see that I may try to find another 18 millimeter and see how that will look with this Okay, of all of these 18 millimeter ones, Star Guide, Otto, uh, Takahashi, uh, this is the biggest. This is the Alter Light Wave LER Fat Field Wide 18 millimeter eyepiece. I have a review of this, and it's quite impressive, chunky eyepiece. It looks premium, really, in feel. Uh, let me just use this with this. I remove the Takahashi and put this one. Okay, I have now used this Alter uh, Light Wave uh, Flat Field LDR 18mm piece. Uh, I must say Takahashi is better than that, definitely. It has a more uh, eye relief, better eye relief. It's relatively easy on the eye. It's ergonomically beautiful. But that 8 magnitude star I told you, with the Takahashi, you can see it easier than with this one. In this one, it's almost a little bit dodgy. It doesn't... I should not use the word dodgy. It's not very easy to bring it to focus. That's what I should say. Out of focus, it's actually a little bit more visible than when it is in focus. This is strange. Of course, what I noticed also is that this telescope has a little bit of astigmatism. Toward the left, the 30% to the edge of view, you almost get the a little bit of astigmatism. But funny enough, you, all of this show a little bit of that, except the Takahashi and the Ortho. And this one also, Teleview 40 millimeter plus so. Really impressive. So I have a good lineup, and now I can say which one actually is the best. 
in my opinion now Takashi is the top very close with the uh, classic Bada classic Orto then comes this and this this is the least favorable star guide 20 millimeter not bad it's just very generic this is good this is perfect uh, I don't know I'm a little bit upset by Teleview it produces the best eyepieces but the price is really high but I've not never seen any fault with this <laughs> plus so. so beautiful 30 uh, low minor minoris star asterism I'm observing and comparing this for 18 millimeter eyepiece yeah, from all of these eyepieces, the uh, Takahashi and the uh, Bader are lightest. Takahashi really has a good eye relief, beautiful view. Uh, I like the look of this uh, better than this, but mm, probably not any of them. Uh, I'll, I will go for this ones. This is quite expensive. This is quite affordable, so I may just go for this if I wanted to buy it first time. But that one. Is really good. Or get a Teleview Plus or if you can find it. So what I want to say is that if you don't choose your eyepieces correctly, and by correctly I don't mean expensive eyepieces, some of the Chinese eyepieces are the best I've seen, cheapest and cheerful. In this range that I have, uh, if I didn't see this one or Bada Orto, I will miss that. I would have missed that eight magnitude star. You would not know that that star exists. Even in the sharpest focus you achieve with this or this or this, you will not see that eight magnitude star. That's that's fact. Of course, having said that, uh, this was with this telescope in this weather and sky condition my eye of course as they say your mileage maybe is different so um, make your own choices